Sigmund Freud is the father of psychology. He is an Australian neurologist who founded the study of psychoanalysis. He touches mainly on the motives of human behavior and the causes of mental illness. His work is fascinating, especially if you have a knack for uncovering the unconscious workings of the human mind. Sigmund Freud made leaps and bounds in the field of psychology. The main theories that have influenced psychology as we know it today are his psychosexual stages of development, the concept of the id, the ego, and the superego, as well as his theories regarding sleep analysis and dreaming analysis. Now, if you've ever had the privilege of watching a baby grow from being a small infant to an adult, then you are very privileged. You are privileged not only because you get to witness monumental stages of development in someone else's life, but you get to see Freud's theories in their works. The first stage is called the oral stage, and this occurs in the first three years of a child's life. This is a stage where a child finds pleasure in putting things in their mouth, such as their thumb or their mother's breast while they are feeding for milk. If a child becomes fixated on the stage, they can develop habits when they get older, such as smoking cigarettes or biting their nails. The next stage is called the anal stage, where the child gets potty trained, and according to Freud, these restrictions on when and where they can use the restroom create developmental factors in a child. If the potty training is very loose, then the child will grow up to hate authority and to be very messy. Regardless, if the party training is very tight and restricted and done early, then the child can develop to grow up being very clean and respect authority a lot. The next stage is the phallic stage, which means the child is starting to learn distinct gender roles. For example, girls learn the roles of their mothers and boys learn the roles of their fathers and what is appropriate and inappropriate. Then comes the Latin C stage, where the libido is dormant from ages 6 to puberty. This is the stage where children become to... They start playing with other kids. They start having hobbies, and they start having activities of their own that they love to enjoy, and their sexuality is very tamed. And the final stage among Freud's stages is the genital stage, which takes place from puberty to adulthood. This is where sexual experimentation takes place. According to Freud, our need to reproduce causes a lot of unconscious feelings and motives within us. Freud puts a lot of emphasis on his psychological theories which have to do with basic instincts. For example, our instinct for food, water, shelter, reproduction, and health. Our wants and desires are not the only things that drive us according to Freud. Our basic instincts are processed by the unconscious workings of the ego, the superego, and the id. The id is the unconscious drive to meet our natural desires. The id develops as soon as we are born. For example, if a baby cries because it is hungry, it will not stop until its needs are met. Contrary to this, the ego develops from the id, but it takes into consideration the pros and cons of reality before acting upon impulse. Therefore, if an adult is hungry, they can wait until lunchtime instead of crying until they are fed. Lastly, the superego is our conscious state of mind. The superego super helps us differentiate right and wrong depending on what morals we are taught as children. For example, if an adult is hungry, they would not steal food from the market. They would wait until lunchtime. They do this because they were taught morals as a child that it is wrong to steal. These are just a couple methods Freud has into unlocking the consciousness of the human mind. One of the most fascinating is his input on dreaming. Freud believes we could find out a lot about a person by analyzing their dreams. Freud believed that the symbols we see when we are in REM sleep can give insight in what is happening in the unconscious part of our brain. For example, if you see a red rose in the corner of your dream, that might be an indication that you miss your mother because you know your mother likes red roses. The workings of the human mind are mysterious and very fascinating. Many of the workings can be explained by Freud. Sigmund Freud has made amazing progress in the field of psychology due to his unconscious study of the mind. 
His work on the psychosexual stages of development, his concept of the id, ego, and superego, as well as his dream analysis theory, help us understand our strange minds. Now that you are aware of some of Freud's work, you must think long and hard the next time you have the opportunity to explore the consciousness. It is our job to look at the dark part of our unconscious and see what we can make apparent to us.